Okay, thanks to Frap, my Frap's not recording my voice. You missed like 20 minutes of me freaking out over this game. So it's probably going to be really boring now. Sorry about that. I mean, like, I was really on a roll earlier on recording this shit. Where the fuck is the music? Okay, there it goes. Oh, that music. That music, it's burned into my head. Look at this. Look at look at the shit. Why was this done? I don't understand. Why? Okay. First off, Garth looks sort of like my grandma with a wig on. That's the first problem here. Except in that, and then he just looks kind of like Garth. And I admit, I haven't seen Wayne's World since I was like a kid, but... Well, let's skip this, it's not important as far as I can tell. Um... It has nothing to do with this. Look at, look at this. Look at, look at this. So, so you're running around this store and you're, you're, you're playing your guitar and there's bagpipes floating around that are trying to shoot you with tiny plaid scrotums or something. I don't know. So you're jumping around completely aimlessly in this horrific music store until you find an arrow that makes you sort of do a pelvic thrust and say swing and everything explodes. Bouncing off drums, shooting tubas and drums, uh, uh, picking up th thumbs up and hearing not and excellent over and over again until you can't hear anything else. This is like some sort of horrible, horrible, horrible fever dream. Like, this is something insane people would see. This, this, you, you, I could just see somebody telling the therapist about the time they closed their eyes and they saw Wayne from Wayne's World running around a techno death music store getting attacked by musical instruments and shooting his guitar laser beams at him. I can, I can see that happening. And, and if I'm not careful, it's probably going to be me doing that before too long. Trying to convince my, trying to convince my psychiatrist that uh, there really was a sequel to Wayne's World and it involved this. You could have at least made a sprite for him, but no. You, you, yeah, yeah, okay, you got a sprite. You could have at least given that sprite a head, maybe. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing to tell you the complete and utter truth. I'm just running around. I've been up and down this level, like, four times, and I still have not figured out the object of the game. I, I don't know... It's, re it's really hard to talk about this game. I... It's just like... Something that you don't do. This is something that you don't do. Like, if I was employing a guy that made games and this was his idea, no, that is the exact opposite of what I would do, actually, Wayne. Um, I would fire him. In fact, I would call the police on him because I would believe he was, like, criminally insane or dangerous somehow. This isn't, this isn't harmless. This isn't a benign little wacky romp through nonsensical music store land. This is something made with malicious intent. This is something that is out to get you. And you better 
fucking sleep with your eyes open tonight. Because as soon as you open, you open them, you're gonna see Wayne with his little guitar running towards you, about to blow your goddamn head off because he thinks that you're a bagpipe man. Just fucking watch out. That's all I'm saying. Because the guy who made this game is probably still alive. And he's probably still out to do stuff. He's pr he's probably trying to make another one of these. It's uh, he can't use Wayne's World because Wayne's World hasn't been relevant for like 10 years. If that short a time, actually. He's probably going to do something with like... Michael Bay's Transformers or... Avatar or some shit. It's gonna make some horrible, like, you're running around in a music store except you have a blue cat person head and you're trying to kill greenhouse gases or something. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, I, I just, I would be afraid to meet the man. I would want nothing to do with him. Maybe. Somebody with the capability to make this game would probably make your skin crawl just like by looking at it. Ugh. All that progress is reset. There is no checkpoint in this game. You just go through it over and over again, not knowing what you're supposed to do. You just, you just, you keep on trucking because you have to, because you signed up for something on the LP sub form. And, and, you, you fool. What was I thinking? What? What? I, there's just no words for Wayne's World here. No explanation and no words. It's here. It shouldn't be. It's like it's like you know the monsters from Lovecraft stories, like how they conveniently melt your brain because you're like, oh my god, that shouldn't exist, should it? Because it like breaks the laws of physics. This breaks the laws of I don't know what it breaks the laws of, but Probably the laws of several different states uh, and countries. This is the kind of game Hammurabi's laws are made for. It like you made this, and he would cut your hands off as retribution for doing such a thing, and you deserved it. You should have like burned down some guy's house or something. Anything other than made Wayne's world. No. What were you thinking? What were you thinking, man who made this game? I'm only playing it. At least I didn't make this. At least I didn't commit myself to such insanity. You could have done this with any character, but you picked Wayne from Wayne's World. Let's hear about that. Mm-hmm. I see. You were on cocaine. Okay. Um... How much cocaine? So several backpacks full. All right. Um, are you a flaming homosexual? Oh yeah, you are. I, I didn't even need to finish that question. You must get that one a lot. Uh, please put down the knife, please. That is how an interview with this guy would go. Whoever he is. I don't even know who made this game. Like, I don't even know the company that made this game. Probably never made anything else because people saw this shit. And they were like, whoa! Uh, not touching that guy. No, no. Uh, we'll go get uh, um, Epic Megagrams or something to do it. Uh, Ubisoft, EA. Acclaim. Christ, Talking Head Studios could probably make a better game. This guy should have been the mascot for Talking Head Studios, actually. Look at him. Look at him! 